Five is our man in London, Timothy Go. Tim, eight players disqualified, apparently never before on this scale in the games. What's the reaction in London? Almost, almost unbelievable. In fact, uh, Jen, the eight players from four teams in the women's doubles competition out. Uh, because of the uh, after the inquiry rather from the badminton world federation which just concluded moments ago all of them charged with attempting to throw their matches in an attempt to secure a favorable uh, quarterfinal draw the ioc chief jacques rogo was uh, here watching that match last night and he said it is the biggest threat to the integrity of the games and we just heard there lord sebastian co saying uh, the match throwing scandal is depressing and unacceptable and as you mentioned Jen eight athletes is qualified at the same time from the same discipline I don't think we've ever uh, seen something like this uh, something this scandalous in the history of the modern Olympic Games and we are also just getting word now that Indonesia is shocked by this decision and they may be appealing the verdict now on to another potentially scandalous uh, affair here in uh, London is the uh, Chinese swimmer Ye Shi Wen, the IOC addressing the controversial issue, uh, uh, allegations rather, of her uh, possibly doping, uh, saying that this is crazy allegation and motivated by nothing but jealousy. The IOC uh, spokesman Mark Adams says uh, at the uh, as the Olympic athletes here push themselves uh, to do their best to break records, and that is exactly what Ye Shi Wen did. Uh, the president of the uh, Federa uh, FINA, the swimming body, uh, Giulio Maglioni, said Ye's doubters are making a big mistake, and he also outlined FINA's stringent drug testing process and says it is uh, its top 30 swimmers are 100% clean. Now, here at the Olympics, the top five finishers also uh, each go through strict and stringent drug testing and yay as of today as we know is 100 percent clean uh jen it is funny because i was talking to um a south african journalist yesterday who asked about the big story in asia and she asked if it is about the uh china doping scandal so i told her well you know it's not really a scandal those are just unsubstantiated allegations uh for now it is very tough of course for the swimmer 16 years old having to face all of this but she uh still won her her event yesterday uh winning gold in that event now we have some reaction back to the badminton thing on uh from shanghai so channel news asia's christine lim with reactions now this deliberate loss has drawn widespread reactions here in China. Chinese state media has denounced the four pairs, including Chinese stars Yu Yang and Wang Xiaoli, describing them as lacking fighting spirit and the desire for victory. And meanwhile, the Chinese Olympic Committee has also stepped in, saying it opposes any form of behavior that violates the sporting spirit and morality. On the internet forums, reactions were rather mixed. From what we see here, about half of the netizens were condemning the behavior. Fans call this a humiliation of the national team. Some say they can play better because the lousy performance did not even meet the standard of amateurs. Now the Chinese are upset, slamming the badminton team for having really lost this time. Not because of the scoreline, but because they have ruined the image of athletes and the spirit of fair competition in the blind pursuit of gold medals, saying they don't want medals worn through trickery. At the same time, another half of the comments are defending the badminton pair, saying this is a strategy that there's nothing wrong with it, so players should not be punished. A sports school in Beijing has also expressed support, saying it believes the competitors played by the rules. Now the pair also face investigations by the country's Olympic delegation. Christine Lim, Channel News Asia, reporting in Shanghai. And that was our Shanghai correspondent and Timothy, thanks for that update. Timothy Go there reporting live in London.